Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I am going to show you how to combine multiple Excel tables into one consolidated table using Power Query. So here I have the sales data for July 2018 and I have it for four different regions East, West, North and South and my tables are named East underscore data. So if I go to design you can see that the table name is East underscore data and for West it's West underscore data and so on. Now to combine these tables I would first start with a blank query so I would go to the data tab and here in get data drop down in from other sources I would click on blank query this would open the query editor but because I have not chosen any data source there is nothing that it displays now here I have a formula bar and if you don't see a formula bar you can go to the view tab and make sure this is checked now in the formula bar I'm going to use a formula that would give me the list of all the named ranges and tables and connections in the current workbook and the formula is excel dot current workbook with empty parenthesis now in power query the formulas are different as compared with the formulas in excel also these formulas are case sensitive so i need to make sure that my e in excel is capital my C in current workbook and W in current workbook are capital and the formula is exactly the way it's shown here. If you type it uh, and because this is case sensitive, if you type it wrong, it would not work. Also there is no IntelliSense so you need to know the exact formula unlike Excel where you're typing something, it will show you the list of formulas that match that name so far but in Power Query there is no IntelliSense so you need to know the exact formula. Now when I hit enter see what happens it gives me this table so what this formula does is it goes into the current workbook and it checks for tables named ranges and connections and it gives me a list of all those tables named ranges and connections in this case since I only have excel tables it's giving me these four objects now in this case the name column has the name of the table so you can see east underscore data and west underscore data but here on the left I have something called as table for each of these named uh, ta these tables now if I click on table here it would instantly open the table for uh, east underscore data so let me show you if I click on table see what happens instantly it opens the east underscore uh, data table but I don't want this so I would come to the applied steps and I would remove this and go back to the source step now if I click on the space to the right of it you can see it shows me this entire data set for east underscore data so what's happening here is in this cell that says a table power query is actually holding the entire data set with the name east underscore data and similarly in this cell it holds the entire data set for west and here it for north and for south and what I want to do is I want to combine all these tables and I can do that by clicking on this button so this double pointed arrow as soon as I click on this it would show me the option to combine all these tables into one single consolidated table so when I click on this here it asks me these are the column names do you want all these columns to be combined in this case I want to be combine all the columns so I'll leave it as is and I need to uncheck this because if I don't what it's going to do is it's going to use the original column name as prefix and the original column name here is content so it would in case of date column it would make it content dot date or content dot item or content dot sales rep and I don't want this I want the name of the columns only the original column so I would uncheck this and I would click OK and see what happens instantly it combines the entire data set into one consolidated table and here you can see I have the name column where I have the name of the regions so I can rename this to region and I can change this so that instead of east underscore data I am shown east and instead of west underscore data I am shown west so to do that I would right click on this go to replace values and here I would remove so I would find underscore data and I would replace it with nothing and when I click OK see what happens 
all the region names are now all right now when i can drag this and bring it to the beginning of it if you want to do any kind of transformation here you can do it so for example in case of date if you don't want time you can go to transform and change this to date also make sure that your data types are correct now in this case as you can see this is text data type this is date but in this case this is data type any and if you don't want any because any would mean that uh, power query could not identify what data type this was you can change this and as i said it is a good practice to make sure that your data types are correct so i would make these two text these would be whole numbers so i have to combine these and make these whole numbers and commission could be decimal or percentage whatever you want it to be now the data types are correct and i can load this so i would go to file close and load and when I click on this it would insert a new worksheet and insert this entire table in that worksheet so when I click on close and load see what happens instantly it uh, have these have this query here with the name query one I have the table the consolidated table and these many rows have loaded now this is fine but there is one problem with this method and see what happens if I come here and I refresh this query Earlier there were 1304 rows and now there are 2607. Similarly, if I come here and I refresh it again, it increases and I'm, I'll show you why this happens. So I would double click on this query and go to the source step here. And why this is happening is if I refresh the preview here, the source step, what happens here is because this function lists all the tables, it is also now listing the new table that we created with the name query one. And because these are now five tables, it keeps on combining this and this is called a recursion. So what happens is Power Query initially started with these four tables, but then when we inserted another, we inserted the query one in the worksheet, it had five tables and now when we refresh the query it combines these five tables and next time when we refresh it again it combines the five tables but the query one table keeps on getting expanded because all those new rows are added to it so what we need to do is we need to make sure this list only shows us the data the tables that are relevant so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come here go to text filter ends with and I would say, yeah, and this is going to insert a new step here. So I'm okay with it. Come here and I would say underscore data. So what this would do is it would filter out query and it would only keep those tables that end with the name underscore data. And I can structure my data in the worksheet in such a way that my tables that I want to combine have a consistent name. And when I click on okay here, it would now only give me these and let's go back to the change type. Everything works fine till here. I can close and keep this. And now when I come here, see what happens. It's loading and now it's loading the correct number, which is 1303. And even if I come here and refresh it, it would still keep this, this number. So this is how you can combine multiple tables using a power query function, which is excel.currentworkbook. The function gives you a list of all the tables, name ranges and connections. You filter out the ones that you want and then you click on the double pointed arrow to combine all those. That's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Thank you and have a nice day.